Hello, this is Jake, and I bring some bad news today. Um, I had a question on one of my videos yesterday, or the day before, um, about when's the next Titanic episode coming, the Titanic diorama that I'm building. And yeah, I'm actually started filming a new episode from today, uh, looking at the boilers and everything. Um, but worst nightmare, I, I lost files. So I've done an entire episode on the Titanic diorama, which is right here. There you go. Shows the size of it. It's pretty uh, big. Um, so yeah, I've done a complete episode on airbrushing it one colour and adding detail to the seabed. More detail. Um, and I've completely lost those files. Really annoying. And it's just not though... It's, the, it's, it's files for that layout. Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up here. I lost files for that episode, and I also lost files for the Volvo up there, the FH16. I lost a file of the next update on that, where I was doing a bit of work on it and I was talking about it at the same time, so that's annoying. I lost footage of the um, RC Tug that I bought a while ago, um, and also this one here, this is a Dodge Viper Maestro 124th kit. I lost files of doing a complete restoration on that, a two-part episode. So, it was annoying, but, you know, I'll have to carry on doing what I'm doing. Um, and I'll be doing plenty more videos. Like I said, I'm already filming a new part on the Titanic, and I'll explain in that as well, what happened. Um, so, yeah, class this as a channel update. Um, it was annoying that I lost those files. Don't really know what caused it. Um, I really don't know. I've had it happen before, but on, not on this camera, on a different camera. Um, it it might have something to do with the fact that this camera card in here is the biggest camera card I own. And I also use it on my dash cam in my car. Um, so maybe that had something to do with it. But they're separate files anyway, so I don't know. But anyway, life goes on. Um, so what am I up to? Wow. Like I said, I'm working on this Titanic diorama. A diorama that you've not seen any footage on. And just because I didn't film it, I've done it in one hour. I built a ship wreck diorama in one hour. Um, and here it is. Let me just grab it. There we go. So, yeah, this diorama you've not seen. Uh, people on Facebook would have probably seen it. If you're on the Facebook page, I'll put a link in the description, Builder Models. You can join that page, share your work, diorama, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, just check out the link in the description for that. Got dog hair on it. Uh, but, yeah, this is one of the wrecks I had built in an hour. One hour. And that's right from cutting the baseboard and going for now, really. So this is the Queen Elizabeth II, um, and it's a complete freestyle diorama, you know, I didn't copy the wreck because this ship never wrecked. A dog is annoying me now with me, tweezers. Um, it's not even my dog hair, by the looks of it. My dog's black and that was blonde and we had not had a blonde in Labrador for a long time. So, I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, it's a nice wreck, I will do a video on this. Um, I'm just going to finish it off, cleaning the, putting some border on the edges and everything. But yeah, very nice. I do like that. So that's the Queen Elizabeth wreck. Kind of put my own thing on it. Like I said, the wreck. Well, there's no wreck. Um, the ship never sank. Put that one up there, out the way, so we don't get it damaged. But I really enjoyed doing that. I built that in one hour, uh, which was nice. Um, for those of you who watched my Hot Wheels video... Um, I probably will do another episode of that because I'm on the hunt for more. Um, I'm currently building the Suzuki Cappuccino. And here is the shell. Just painted today. Um, it should be fully dry now. I think it is, but just be careful with my hand. I don't get any marks on it. But that's coming along really nicely. There we go. And I also have the chassis built with the wheels now. So I painted the wheels up as well. Um, I've really enjoyed this Ayashima kit. Um, I'm definitely buying more of them. In fact, I'm picking up a Lamborghini Huracan kit um, next Tuesday, which would be great. 
Um, on the shelf over now we have the Tamoya T Cab 114th Scania truck. Now that will be a popular series on this video. Um, it's it's a mess. Until we get some real progress done on it, I'm not going to do any videos. Um, but I know that would be popular on this channel. T cabs are pretty popular when it comes to these Tamoya RC trucks. Um, I have another diorama down here. This is another shipwreck. Um, I have one. Can you see it? Yeah, you can just about make it out. This is a military one, World War II. I will be doing a video on this very soon. Um, I've just built, ready for another diorama wreck, um, this sub, German sub, 1350th. And yeah, this is going to be put into a wreck. Along with, I have, so I bought another one of these. Um, probably should have put it down for this video. So I bought an RS Mortagna. Now I've done an unboxing of this. Um, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, and in fact, it's right here, not finished yet. There you go. Um, there's models everywhere, not finished in this workshop. So I bought another, and that is because I'm going to be building the Lusitania wreck. And I'm really looking forward to that, because that's going to be a really interesting wreck. The plan was, halfway through building this, I decided I'm going to turn this into the Lusitania wreck. And then I thought, wow, I glued it all together, I may as well just get this one finished. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is, this kit's going to be a bit like the Titanic um, diorama series. So, yeah, that should be pretty nice. And that's not the only thing I've bought in the last couple of weeks. I bought these paints for my airbrush. Um, and I've used, like I said, on the Titanic diorama. Um, I've also picked up... Oh, some of these car cases. So when you buy a model car, 143rd or any scale, they come in a case like this. Now, I've managed to get my hands on quite a few of these cases for mini di dioramas. Um, I don't have any to show you. I've already built two. They're up in the house. But I will be doing a Warhammer one. Um, two of the figures are in here at the moment. Um, and I'm going to be doing a nice little Warhammer diorama. Um, I was going to be doing the Glock King, however, things have changed on that, I'm not doing the Glock King anymore. Um, just because I've got too many projects on the go. Um, and I've also bought this one, HMS Impulsive. So this is a cheap kit, £5.50, something like that. And again, a nice little wreck diorama um, to be done with that one. Let me just put the Mortania back. Um, oh. One minute. Right, I just remembered. Um, I bought two kits off eBay, so I thought I'd go and get them and include this in this video as well. I will be doing unboxings of these, so you'll be able to check that out. We have a Reval BMW Z1. Very nice kit. And from the same buyer, Salah, sorry, I also got Sebastian Vettel's Red Boar. And that is, I forget there, which one is it? RB8. RB8. Uh, 2011, I might be wrong on that. 2011, 2012. From the cars in the background, it looks like 2011. But yeah, really nice. Um, pleased with that one. So I got these two off eBay for £21.99. Can't go wrong. They're both one twenty fourth, and yeah, really pleased with that. Um, I don't have no room in the shed at the moment, but yeah, really pleased with them. And that brings me on to my new project. I'm going to be building a 124th scale car garage, um, like a workshop. And that's why I've been buying these 124th kits. That's why I've restored this Dodge Viper, because I want to build a garage scene and then I can pose these cars that I built uh, or build, or I'm building, I can pose them in the garage, the garage has got to be detailed, you know, with um, tools, workmen, stuff like that, 
um, a proper walk under the cars, car lift, stuff like that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that one um, and I'll be starting the baseboard to that what's tomorrow, Saturday, it'll probably be next Monday now but that's going to be great and I want to be able to fit at least three cars into the scene and still have a bit of an area over one side um, so that'll be good. The original plan was to build it for these cars which are I'm not too sure now. These are smaller cars, basically. You know, like your average toy car, like a Hot Wheels car. Um, you know, I collect Hot Wheels, so yeah, like that. But I thought, no, if I do a 124th, I can, you know, build some more kits, try some kits out, and I will have from floor to roof of kits in the next couple of weeks that I've bought. I'm not going to be able to build them all overnight, obviously. Um, I already have the Dodge Challenger Vanishing Point car, a, that's an AMT kit, I have an AMT Monte Carlo, a Mitsubishi GTO twin turbo from Tamiya, um, that BMW, that F1 car, the F1 car is not going to be in the Red Bull livery, I have a plan for that, I want to make it my own, um, I'm, I'm either going to do it as a test car, a one off test, or something like that, It'll probably still have the Red Bull decals on it, to be honest. Or I might keep them for something else in the future. Because when I build these cars, I do want to make some customs as well. Um, I've bought the... I haven't picked it up yet. I haven't bought it yet, but I will be picking it up next Tuesday. The Huracan Ayoshi kit, like I said. And that's going to come with the Photo Etch pack. So you can add detail to it and everything like that. That's going to be really good. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing with 124th cars. I buy 118th diecast cars as well and 143rd. I should show you my collection um, because I have quite a nice collection. Going back to the lorries, the Volvo FH16 is going to be a complete you know, custom job, like shiny. I picked up these exhaust pipes for it. Um, well, not for that one. I picked these up for a truck ages ago. I think it was for my Merc. Uh, Actros and yeah, I picked them up really good price um, and you've got single triple or what what comes after the triple yeah I don't know five <laughs> so yeah there's a five exhaust that look at that that's gonna look very nice um, hang them up there problem is I'm struggling to hang stuff on the walls um, so what I'm gonna do is get some board done we got the new bench behind me here. You see my Fiat 500. Um, I got my trailer on there to my uh, uh, Volvo FH12, which is for sale. Um, I got a couple of showers over there to be painted as well, just over here. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah, this bench is going to be done for working on the Trumpeter 1200 Titanic. Um, and I'm hoping it fits on that. I haven't measured it yet. Uh, but the board's going to come straight across, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I should get on that. The Trumpeter Titanic is, you know, the most anticipated kit I got coming. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. I won't build it straight away because i got to, you know, tidy up in here and everything. Um, but that's going to be a beast. I am really, really looking forward to that set. Um, and I will be doing an unboxing of it, of course. Um, oh, if you didn't see the unboxing for the Tamiya Atros, uh, Arox Mercedes truck the other week, please do check that out. That is now the chassis. Let me show you my Volvo FH16. I will redo a video of this, so don't worry. Um, you will get to see an update. But this is the chassis of that Mercedes Arox. And now this is going to be the Volvo FH16. Got a poison motor on there. Um, standard tyres from the uh, Volvo anyway and they do run really well um, I just got to get the steering done once I get the steering done I start messing around with it more um, put that back on there I need, I'm hoping that's safe um, the RC Tug I do want to do more videos on it uh, but I am in two minds of selling it on um, just because I haven't really got the time at the moment to go mess with that. Um, I still have a level 5 Ravel 
um, Zamba bust on our kit to build. I think that's a 114th or 116th that one is. So I'll have to do that at some point. I have a Hobby Boss um, Italian Heavy Cruiser Polar. That's going to be turned into a wreck at some point. Um, I actually bought some photo etched railing for that kit quite a while back now. Um, because I wanted to turn it into a wreck basically. So that's going to be fun. Um, I, I have an idea how I'm going to do that. Uh, other kits down there, there's a few Tamiya ones, mainly spare parts. All my stuff that's complete in, is in that corner, um, and it's a bit of a mess at the moment. There's a lot of Oxford diecast cars there for another project. i got projects everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, but that's what I do. I enjoy doing it, and um, yeah. That's that's the main thing. As long as you enjoy doing it, why why stop? Um, I got I'm building a custom, well I'm restoring a um, lawnmower, lawn flight, a big ride on lawnmower. I'm restoring that at the moment, and I'm turning it into a racing livery. So I'm going to spray it all up in golf racing uh, blue and orange. So that'd be pretty interesting. Um, oh, I have got this one. I picked this one up from the model shop the other day. Yeah. Ten pounds. Um it's missing the cockpit glass. So it's classed as um spares and repairs. But again, I can do something with this. I have an idea of maybe a smashed plane in the ground. What I did think is like the plane's gone straight into the ground and spread across the board. So a diorama of basically a massive uh high speed plane crash and um, so I picked that one up uh, pretty good there's not really much else to show you um, I'm a busy busy person one of my little dioramas I've done a couple of years ago now two years ago an abandoned barn and if you watch car SOS that's meant to be um, the guys down here finding an old classic car in a barn um, so that's pretty cool i done that for my narrow gauge model railway, um, which is great. Um, so I'm going to finish this video with one or two things now. It's going to be, I want to try and get a lot in here so you, you know what to expect. Um, an elephant diorama. Yeah, that's that's something that's happening. Um, elephants are my favourite animal. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is... I don't know what this make was, um, Papo or something like that, but yeah, I want to do, you know, a bit of a diorama with maybe this one and a baby um, elephant, um, so that'd be pretty cool. Something different, something I've not done before, completely different to the shipwrecks. So yeah, that should be interesting. Um, and if that turns out well, I'll probably uh, do something else in the future like it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it from me now. The only thing I haven't mentioned is the model rockets. I am building my own. I haven't started it, I'm planning it. Um, but it's going to be about mm, four foot tall, complete. Um, it's going to be a beast uh, compared to, you know, i got, this is Big Bertha. Big Bertha um, will be going up again soon. I'll be doing a video on that. I want to get this one painted up now. And we'll go from there. But yeah, Big Bertha has had three really bad launches. And they've all ended pretty pretty badly. Especially the one with the ALF tied to it. The ALF it just made it go like that missile completely the other way. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of fun. And uh, it's a Christmas episode. So yeah. Um, but that's it. There's not much more to talk about. Um, I want to thank all new subscribers. I'm up to about 610 when I last checked. So thank you so much. That is down to the Volvo FH16 log truck and the Titanic videos. Um, I'm going to keep the videos coming because I absolutely love doing the Titanic diorama. Like I said, I lost my footage so it did annoy me and I've kind of not worked on it now for a while. 
Um, but I will get that sorted for you all because I know there's people up there who want to see that and there's people who want to see the Volvo. Um, and I'll be doing unboxings of many kits. Um, I'm trying to sort something out, which I'll update you on soon, where I can review, uh, well, unbox most of the um, model kits that are released, even if they ain't my cup of tea, you know. So that'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you, new subscribers. And I will keep the content coming. Anything changes, I will let you know. I won't just stop doing videos and vanish off the face of the earth. Um, so, yeah. But thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all soon. Bye for now.